Hello there, M. Strange here. So, um, the main thing I wanted to show you is that there's this plugin that maybe I haven't seen a lot of people use it or talk about it, so that maybe they don't really know about it or something. Um, it's called OLX, and it's made by Biomech, and they you, they create like Zblur. So I bought that plugin. I use that one. But um, OLX, one I'm going to talk about in this video, is free. So what it does, it allows you to add a little pop-up here as a palette, and then you can really quickly merge other Cinema 4D documents into your scene. So, for example, let's say we want a warm spotlight. So, which this is a light that I've created in advance with like the settings that I wanted and like saved it. So then I can easily like drop it in a scene and then use it instead of having to go back and um, you know like going to um, merge object and going and finding it like on the on my hard drive. Like you pick a hierarchy like a folder and then anything that's in that folder will show up in this menu. And so these are Cinema 4D project files. So all you do is like here I'll show you this. I just put it in my C drive like in my Cinema 4D folder. And on mine it's called CS Tools because this is how I was loading the CS Tools. So what these are are just Cinema 4D documents. And the only thing in this scene is a light. So then it merges it and loads it. So you can put anything you want in there. Um, so what I have are, you know, I had some of the CS Tools that I use a lot. But I have like my candlelight setup which already has a little espresso tag on it to do like flicker for for a candle so I can just use this light and then modify it for my candles and things like that and I have um, the spotlights that I use all the time uh, I'm using an older version of Cinema 4D so it doesn't have like the the really advanced like After Effects export for scenes so to do my export for for After Effects to get my like trackers and stuff, I just created these lights, like four lights in four corners of the sky with look at camera tags on them. So when I export this to After Effects and open it up, all I have to do is like replace these lights with my matte paintings and then they're up there in the sky. But you can see it, so it loaded that in there. And then another thing that I use in here all the time that this is something separate that you might want to make too is like an auto like gobo light or gobo light however you're supposed to say it I never really learned how you're supposed to say it but so this is a light and then what I did I just did it really quickly I set it up to be to throw different types of shadows so I just did some super simple espresso so instead of checking it I uncheck it so then it'll use as you'll see it'll project these shadows onto the scene so if you're going through vines or strings or whatever you want to do um, or if you want to do like from my last film, I'd sliding doors. So this is just the light. It's super simple. All it is is a light, and then it just has the different types of geometry actually stuck in front of the light. Like, uh, let's go look at it so you can see. So see, it's just a light, and it's actually doing what a real world gobo does or gobo that they use in real film production. So all it's doing is just turning on and off these different things in front of the scene or in front of the camera so that's actually looking through it and yeah so it's a really easy way to get some interesting looking shadows and to break up the lighting on your scene and of course it follows the light so this is just a super simple espresso setup for this and then um, I think I actually yeah I put a, a vibrate tag on it so that you can make the shadows move too if you want to but um, so I load that to through the OLX menu so it can save you a lot of time if you put the stuff that you're always using you know if you have like custom settings or objects I mean it could be a rig it could be a building it could be a thinking particles preset it could be whatever you want but you know it makes it really simple to just be able to pop up there and do it and then you just you know edit palettes and drop it up there and that's how you get it in there and then save the toolbar but there's other tutorials and things on how to do that so that's just what I want to show you. So you can go download that from um, Biomech. I'll put the link in the info thing, or it should be on the screen right now. So yeah, hopefully that helps some people out there. And if you want to throw cool shadows, make a little gobble light or something. But yeah, until next time, M. Strange saying the bye.